Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Chair of the IBCS, authorities, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I cannot be in Geneva with you today, but I would like to contribute to your discussion by bringing the European Commission's point of view together with an overview of our policy and the initiatives which contribute to the implementation of the Global Framework for Climate Services. The European Commission is investing strongly in the development of climate services, including for facilitating the market development. The objective is to unlock the full potential of climate services to increase the cost effectiveness of mitigation and adaptation solutions. Climate services are the intelligence needed to reach a climate resilient and low carbon society. This vision is reflected in the European Research and Innovation Roadmap for Climate Services published in February, which identifies the key challenges and relevant actions that we are going to implement for the development of climate services. The most relevant EU initiative is Copernicus, the European Earth Observation Programme. Based on its large network of in situ and remote observation systems, Copernicus is developing a dedicated climate change service, which at the moment is in the proof of concept phase. It will be put into operation progressively to provide, when it is up to speed, around 30 essential climate variables and several indices to support various economic or societal sectors. Although focused on Europe, it will provide global coverage, which also give us a unique opportunity for international development cooperation. Copernicus will provide all its data and data products in free and open access, showing its public good dimension. However, this open data policy will also allow second tier climate services operators to develop high added value customized services for specific end users. In the last 20 years, a wide body of research has been developed through the EU framework programs for research and innovation, providing the foundation for operational climate services. In Horizon 2020, the current European Research and Innovation Programme, the challenge is to fill knowledge gaps and bring climate services to the market. This goes beyond the purely scientific challenge. It aims to increase the relevance and usability of climate information for end users, facilitating the effective uptake of climate services by business, administrations and individuals. The user-driven approach, scientific excellence, capacity building at provider at user level, bridging the existing divide at European and global scale, all these aspects represent a scenario of promising synergies between EU programs and the implementation of the Global Framework for Climate Services. As member of the GFCS Partner Advisory Committee, the European Commission will ensure that these synergies are used for the benefits of GFCS. I thank you for your attention and I wish you a successful Congress.